All right, so now that I have an image, and you can you notice that I have my first rib here on the light, right side of this screen, and you can see the hyperechoic surrounding of the nerve roots. They're hyperechoic on the meter, and they're pretty rounded there, and they kind of in a row look like almost a, you know, a, a little a pearl um, necklace right there. And so basically you can actually get all those roots you know, blocked. Notice also the presence of two major arteries in here. One is a vertebral artery, and the other is the cervical costal trunk. And there you can see them bouncing just below the most uh, uh, caudal portion of this plexus. So you've got to be very careful to not do an intraarterial injection. Okay? So I'm going to come from caudal to, uh, cranial to caudal with my needle. And you've got to be careful also to not hit the jugular vein, which is just um, ventral to that where we are. And you're going to see then my needle coming in. And I'm going to try to primary hit the most ventral portion of this uh, plexus first. And you can tell the tip of my needle is, is right uh, where the plexus is. And I kind of lost a little bit of the, the, here you go, now I can see most of my needle. And you can see the needle where we're going to be injecting on the most caudal portion of the plexus. And with that, I'm going to be moving my needle cranially towards a more uh, cranial portion of that. Block again. And then you see when I'm doing this, if the neurostimulator is on, you're going to see the contraction changing because you're changing the nerve roots responsible for the innervation of different muscles. And then now I'm going to come to the most cranial portion of this plexus. And you can see my needle on that portion, most cranial portion of it. I will inject another portion of my local anesthetic on this area. Okay? And then with that, I withdraw my needle, and we have a complete blockade done.